We have an exciting session today uh, to chat with some of our friends from Replit um, about a exciting launch with Sandboxes today um, and excited to, to jump right in. Um, so we'd love for you both to, to do some quick intros of yourselves. Yeah, sure. I can go first. Uh, hi, I'm Sated. Uh, I'm part of product engineering team at Replit. Uh, I primarily look after all the billing operations, uh, be it agent billing or product billing. Uh, for, lately, I've been working with Stripe to uh, make it super easy for our customers to uh, monetize their app built with Replit Agent. And I'm very excited to show all the capabilities that it offers today with, uh, through demo. Yeah. And I'm Asif, I help lead of our product partnerships. So whatever we're not doing building in, within Replit, we are working with great companies like Stripe to kind of collaborate and bring great things to our users. Fantastic. Well, it's been great working with you both um, over the last uh, a couple of months on this. Um, for those uh, of our viewers who haven't used Replit yet, uh, can you tell them a little bit about what it is and, and how it's useful for them? Yeah, sure. Um, I can start and please yeah. close it upon. But Replit is, is a tool where you can take any idea that you have and really build it into anything. And maybe a year ago, we were idea to app. But with Agent 3 and our newest launch of like, products and features, and particular agents, now you can really take any concept that you might have and build it into anything. That could be an app, a website, another agent, sub-agents, a set of agents, any mix of the above. And the cool thing about that is it's all done in natural language. And so where in the past you have to learn either C or Python or some software development language, now it's the language we all use as human beings, English. Uh, or for that matter, any other language in the world. And what that unlocks is, is anybody that has had any very focused or niche experience, professionally or otherwise, even in their day to day, they can build something that's bespoke and unique to them, which is really powerful because then at home, or for at home if you need like a calendaring app that helps you and your family and your kids get together, you can build that. But maybe you're planning a wedding and you want a very cool, like wedding specific app for your guests. You can build that now. And going all the way into even enterprises, there are great like colleagues and people who aren't software developers but have awesome ideas and they look for software that they may need to buy. But now with Replit, a lot of our customers, our enterprise customers, those folks are building the solutions that they need specific for HR, specific for um, product or um, go to market even. So it's an awesome tool, uh, super fun. It's like playing with Legos at the end of the day. I love it. So you're spanning across you know, so many different types of people who want to build. Um, where does payments fit into this and why was it important that, that we partnered together on this? Yeah, I think um, we're entering a space where small businesses and like solopreneurs is like a new category. I, I see a world in the next five-ish years where I could imagine like the single person unicorn starts to materialize, and I hope that happens between Stripe and Replit on our platforms. Um, but uh, the reason payments is so important is that these individual entrepreneurs are taking ideas that are important for their communities, for their customers, for their users, and wanting to provide a service or an app or something to them. And as a result, Stripe becomes really important to be able to not only help that Replit user with payment integration, but also all the responsibility of transacting, right? And it makes it, Stripe makes it incredibly easy for users to be able to accept payments. And then integrating that in Replit is now something that we've worked on to make it even more easier. So I think the exciting part is hopefully we start to see the single person unicorn or like the first single person company to a million dollars in revenue. I'm, I'm really hoping in the next six months that we, we, we as, a, as, as two organizations and companies see one of our users actually do that. That'd I think, be the dream, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, payments was a thing like uh, everybody thought that it's, it's, it's done by the developers, mm -hmm. but what this unlocks is anybody who doesn't know what goes behind payments uh, maybe th like primitives like products, prices, checkouts. So you don't need any of that knowledge and you, uh, the power of Replit with Stripe that unlocks uh, building like really cool stuff and actually monetizing those apps and make money. 
uh, for all these business, small businesses and all the newbies. Yeah. So can we see what that looks like in practice? Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, so we have this like very simple prompt. Uh, we want to make a AI image generation app. And let's say we want like a $10 subscription per month uh, where free tier gets like five images every month and pro tier gets 100 images every month. Let's see how it works with agent. So we want it to be the web app. We can start the chat. So what happens here is uh, the first step is uh, agent identifies the intent and search through all the tools that are available and figure out uh, what could be different integrations that can be used for this specific use case. Uh, we'll see it will uh, it just search for uh, replace integration for Stripe payment subscription and it 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 will show up what integrations apart from Stripe are required for all uh, to build this entire flow. Uh, the second step is uh, it identified that we need Stripe for this. Uh, now the step is connect to Stripe. What it means is uh, previously users needed to create Stripe account uh, to actually start working on, uh, on their application, even to get their API keys. But what Stripe Standbox unlocks is uh, without even having your Stripe account, you can just ask agent, hey, go and claim Sandbox for me. And user can literally go in and start working on their app without even having like an account and going through all the verification process. Uh, so we can do connect Stripe. Uh, what it's doing on the back end is it uh, calls Stripe and creates a claimable sandbox. So Replit does it on behalf of the user. Uh, not just that, it also securely store all the API keys that are needed uh, to access that sandbox. So user doesn't have to worry about oh, how, how do I access those API keys? How do I store them securely so that nobody can access it? Uh, so Replit stores them securely in, the, in our secret vault. Uh, and third thing that it does is uh, Stripe is very webhook event heavy. So your app needs to interact with a lot of webhook events that come through Stripe. Uh, it, it just goes and registers webhook URL in Stripe dashboard automatically. So you don't have to go through the hassle of, oh, where should I feel, uh, put this? How should I set up the web, webhooks in Stripe? Uh, so just one click, it does all of that stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, then we can start. So, so what it did is we can see app type is modern web app. And in integrations, we see all these things. Like we need a database, Replit auth, and the main thing is Stripe. Uh, we can start building the app. So with Agent V3, it is fully autonomous and it works for 15, 30 or sometimes more than that. Uh, and it takes time to build the first, first thing. But what I've seen in the last couple of days is it builds entire thing in one shot uh, without needing user input, uh, which is which seems pretty cool. You, so just, you can watch it fight with itself, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have like bunch of cool features like app testing and stuff where agent actually gives the, gets access to your browser and tests entire app in front of you. Uh, so you don't even need to go and check whether things are working correctly or not, which is, which is fascinating. Uh, so just to save time here, uh, I have the same prompt used for one of the, uh, the already built app. Uh, it did the same thing. It detected Stripe as a, one of the integration. Uh, the next step that is uh, that unlocks a lot of features is uh, if you see, say, MCP. So as I said, for any beginner, they might not know the Stripe primitives like products, prices, or they don't even know what API keys are or what, what the SDK is and how to integrate that with their code. Uh, so what Stripe unlocks through their Stripe MCP is agent can directly call Stripe and get all these things done for the user. Uh, what even what is even better is without even explicitly telling agent like hey go go build a product or a price for this much amount, agent just by looking at your prompt identifies what things are needed. And if you see here, uh, agent made MCP call to create a product. Uh, so for this particular app, we needed a pro plan. So it created AI Image Studio Pro uh, as a plan name and description as pro subscription with 100 images per month, uh, which was our initial prompt. Uh, 
it's not just about creating product, but it identifies it also needs to create a price for that product. And uh, similarly, it made another MCP call to create that. Uh, and if you claim this sandbox, we can actually see uh, that uh, those two things are created in the Stripe dashboard. Uh, so I have the sandbox open here. Uh, so under product catalog, you can see we have the plan and, and the price uh, for this particular app. And that's all through the chat. That's all through the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Talk User don't you. even have to claim the sandbox and build these things on its own. Uh, so, that, so the next step is once you have the app, uh, once the setup is done in Stripe, you want to test your app and see whether things are actually working. Mm -hmm. uh, so in the preview tab, uh, you can see the app running. Uh, I have it open in the browser. So this is our app. I already logged in. Uh, so we, I'm currently on the free plan. And I can try upgrading to pull. So let's say whether it works. So on upgrade, uh, you see the Stripe checkout page. And this agent created all this stuff in one shot. Like, I did not have to explicitly tell, hey, go build a checkout page. It did uh, on its own. We can test it out by just doing a test, just adding like test card. And see whether it works. <laughs> Nice. Success. That's awesome. So my plan is now active and I'm on Pro, so it works. <laughs> uh, if you see the uh, catalog and go to subscriptions, you'll actually see uh, all the subscriptions created. This is the latest one. Uh, coming back to this, uh, this is about the development. But what about the production? How do you take your sandbox and actually deploy your app live and start having like real payments coming uh, through Stripe? So we have this publish flow. If you click on publish, you will see uh, a, a input where you can connect your live Stripe account. Uh, what it requires is live publish API key and uh, live secret key. Uh, so. Just to get those keys, you will, at this point, you'll need to create your Stripe account and do the KYC to verify your business. And once you get those API keys, you can just enter them here. Uh, for now, I'll just use like dummy sandbox to simulate this. So, but, I, but with that, um, once you put in the live keys, do all of the sandbox pieces move over as well? Yeah, so coming, coming, I'm just coming to that part. Yeah. Uh, so that's just about connect your, connecting your live account. What's, um, uh, what's even better is uh, what, what you have seen is pe people create things like Stripe uh, products and prices in Sandbox. And then they have to manually copy them to their live account. Mm -hmm. if, just imagine if you have like 1,000 products, yeah. that's going to be a big pain. So what Replit allows you is you can sync your live account with Sandbox. So it automatically creates all the products and prices that are created in your Sandbox and move them to uh, your live account. Uh, it it on, also works on redeploys. Like it just creates a diff between your Sandbox and the live account and figure out which products and prices need to be moved to your live account, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and you can just hit connect and you have your live account set up. And you can just click Publish. That's a one-click deployment. Uh, once it completes, you will get your app running, uh, and you can get real money. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I remember when we first started working together, even just getting to, to this step would require so many clicks back and forth between Replit and Stripe to be able to get something working. So cool to see this, this all happen just from the power of one prompt. Yeah. Um, so this is, this is awesome. Where do you guys see you know, Replit users who are trying to, to build payments integrations going over the next couple of years? Do you want to answer that first? Yeah, I think uh, I'm pretty excited to see what people build with this, uh, especially the core users who are beginners and who doesn't know how to monetize their app and need like a developer's help. Uh, I think that's going to unlock a lot of things for them. Uh, they can simply start selling what, uh, like it could be as simple as, hey, 
I want to sell my Pokemon cards. And this could be done by any, uh, even the students in high schools or uh, like five year old kid. You never know. Like, uh, so that I think unlocks like a lot of uh, people to actually monetize whatever they want. Uh, so yeah. yeah. I mean, I going back to high school and five year old kids, like I remember I used to run like a small photography business as a high schooler and I wasn't able to, I didn't know how to accept payments. So I asked for everybody to send me checks because that was the only way I, as a high schooler, <laughs> knew how to yeah. do it. I can imagine, like, I take those photos, edit them, and put them on, like, a very professional, like, photography website with folders and passwords and security for each of my customers. And then they can just, if they want the picture for downloading or anything, integrate with Stripe Payments on that web app and be able to download all those photos super quickly. Uh, and this is a 15-year-old or 16-year-old in high school that's building a business, right? So I, the exciting part hopefully will be is that a lot of our users are extremely creative and they've done, they've built just incredible things around Replit. And I think as more folks start using it, those creative juices will start flowing and then they'll start also seeing that, hey, this is like a viable business. Like I, as an influencer or as a social media cr content creator or as a photographer in my local community, have these tools to be able to really become like a real full-fledged business, which otherwise needed like an engineering team, a security team, a billing team, like all of that's, it's you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're, you're mentioning the creativity there, right? You've got people who need different types of payments and business models as well. So I'm excited to, to keep partnering and uh, help all the Replit users who you know need one-off payments or subscriptions, or they're building SaaS businesses with more complex business models, help them get to the right Stripe integration uh, that they need to, to you know, launch their business and, and accept payments. Okay, so for folks who want to try this, uh, what are my next steps? Yeah, you want to? So uh, today we are launching it as an early access program. Uh, so whoever wants to try, they can reach out to support. Uh, in like coming few weeks, we'll release it uh, gradually to all the users. Fantastic. Awesome. And where can folks go to get started with Replit today? Um, they can go to replit.com. It's super easy. Um, once you sign up, if you want to be part of the early access program, as Saket mentioned, like reach out to us on support, DM us, tweet at us, whatever. Um, we're across all the channels and we'll, we'll engage and get you set up so that you're here to build really cool businesses and ideas. And our hope is that we'll learn over the next couple of weeks with our users and hopefully add more and more like features and yeah. things that they're looking for as well. Awesome, fantastic. Well, thank you, Saka. Thank you, Asif. This is really great. Um, excited to, to see the response and see what yeah. cool things uh, Replit users build and monetize. Yeah. Thank you, Neil, for thank you for being such a great partner. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for having us here. Yeah.